We just found out Steve Jobs' last words. His sister saying Jobs uttered the following. Oh, wow, oh, wow, oh, wow. All right, that's last words. Well, my next guest is a 14-year-old entrepreneur inspired by Steve Jobs. Here now is Michael Weymouth. Michael, thanks for coming on the show. Thanks for having me on the show. Steve Jobs was your, can I say he was your idol? Yeah, that, that's good wording for that. Okay. You started a company. You're 14 years old. You've got two employees. You fix computers, I believe. That's what you do. Yes. Now, did you get into this to make money, to run a business, or did you get into it because you like what Steve Jobs did, creating things? Um, well, technology is a very expensive uh, thing to uh, have hobby to have so you need to have the money to buy the technology so it was that and of course I was inspired by Steve Jobs that if he could do something different why couldn't I go up against these big retail chains and do something differently as well really so you have you take in computers desktops and laptops and if they're not running correctly not running well you fix them that's the business that's the basics of it yep two employees yep how old are they they're both 14 in ninth grade. So you've got three 14-year-old youngsters running this business. Now, here's the key question. This is a financial program, basically, and I'm a financial kind of guy. Are you making money? Yes. Serious money? Serious to me. <laughs> Profit over and above your expenses? We, we're actually running at zero expenses whatsoever. The most expensive thing is literally the business cards, which cost 12 cents a piece. So That's it. Yeah, so we're pretty <laughs> profit positive. All right. I bring the laptop to you. The thing isn't working right. How much to fix it? Uh, depends on the issue and how long it takes, but probably 50 to 75 for the... 50 to 75 bucks? Yeah. And that's delivered back to the person intact and working properly? Yes. Do you charge them anything if you can't fix it? Uh, if I can't fix it, it just goes back. Sorry, we can't fix it. Okay, All right. So you're a young guy, and you started out with your own business. You're making some money. You're thriving. What do you have to say to those people down there on Occupy Wall Street, the people demonstrating against Wall Street? What do you say to them? I think that they should just work, that they can't, that the, it is possible to start a company no matter where you're coming from. All you have to do is just find some way to get out there and, I hired a PR guy, just, and that's really how all of this started. With it, before that, it was nothing. So You have a PR guy for yes. this company? Yes, Matthew Cunningham. And he's 14? Yes, as well. Did he get you on Fox? He got me on Newsday, which got me on Fox, so indirectly, yes. So you've got to pay him for this, have you? Yes. He gets paid. What does he get for getting you on Fox and Newsday? What he gets 15% he get? of any like uh, deals, uh, PR deals he cuts or ads he creates, 15% any, of any revenue from that. God, you're doing well, son. Uh, you want to go to MIT, is that correct? Yes, definitely. Do you think you can make enough money in your business, which is called Long Island Tech Wizard, by the way? You can make enough money to pay the tuition at uh, MIT? Close. <laughs> <laughs> well, we wish you the best of luck, Michael. Uh, Thank you. It's a pleasure to have you with us on the show. Hope you'll come back at some point. I'd Let's love see to. how you're going. Uh, your long term goal is to be a mogul of some sort? That's a perfect adjective to describe it. Sure. <laughs> and you're not going to go into politics? No. <laughs> Why not? It's a very dangerous field. I don't, I'm, I'm, not, I'm scared of politics. You want to be a billionaire or a, a Steve Jobs creation type? Maybe a little bit of both. Really? Okay. Excellent stuff. Michael Weymouth, everybody. Good stuff indeed. Thanks for joining us, sir. Thank you. All right. Seven hours. No food. No